Here in this video, we are solving a problem based on expansion of solids. The problem is like this. There are two different wires having same length available for you. One is thin, another one is thick. The thickness are different. Which one expands more when the temperature rises same for both of them? Let me stop there and solve that problem for you. Oh, which one expands more? So increase in the length is how much is the question it is asked. We know increase in the length in any solid material is directly proportional to its initial length, also directly proportional to change in temperature. Combining both of them with a constant coefficient of linear expansion, I will get delta L equal to alpha L delta T, right? So, if they are of different materials, different wires, so delta L1 by delta L2 equal to alpha 1 by alpha 2, L1 by L2, delta T by delta T. He said temperature rise is same for both of them. That means delta T is same. Then this delta T can cancel. It is given that wires are having a same length. So L1, L2 are also same. So that also will cancel. So what we can say is delta L1 by delta L2 equal to alpha 1 by alpha 2 which mean to say wire with more coefficient of linear expansion expands more and vice versa. That is the first part of the problem. Now there is another problem. The another problem is when heat supplied is same for both of them. That is the next question that is being asked when heat supplied is same. So, if you have to know something about the heat, first of all, we shall remember the definition of specific heat. Specific heat of a metal is defined as amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of substance by 1 degree centigrade. Amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of substance by 1 degree centigrade is called specific heat of that material. From that, I can write dQ equal to ms delta t. But there is no dQ in your uh, uh, rise in uh, length, right? What is the formula that we have? Delta L equal to alpha L delta t. I need a delta t. So, from this dQ equal to ms delta t, na, I can write delta t as dQ by ms, where m is the mass of the wire material and S is the specific heat of the material. But M is not given for you. So, you can write density equal to mass by volume. That implies mass can be written like density into volume. Density into volume can be written further like area into length. Substituting this value of the mass in this equation, delta T will be dQ by in the place of the mass what I will write is density of the material, area of cross section and length and then specific heat that is delta T dQ by ms. Now I know the value of delta T, I will substitute delta T in this formula, increase in the length is equal to there is some formula na? That implies we can find increase in the length is alpha L into delta T. Now delta T in the given format of dQ is dQ by density, area of cross section, length and specific heat. That is equal to increase in the length. There is L both in numerator and denominator that can be cancelled. So increase in the length is alpha coefficient of linear expansion dq heat supplied by density by area by specific heat. Now what we can understand is if it is given in terms of the heat what we shall understand is it is independent of length. There is no L term here therefore 
earlier it is a dependent of length if it's an equal length or not equal length it makes a difference here but here that's not going to make any difference independent of length it's depending on what dq but it is given in the problem that the heat supplied is same for both of them therefore dq is same that's not a variable right i can write therefore the value of that uh, delta l1 by delta l2 as alpha 1 by alpha 2 density is reciprocal rho 2 by rho 1 and inversely proportional to area of course a2 by a1 now uh, depending on the information that is available we can solve this data further or if somebody say just for the sake of an explanation just for the sake of a continuation if somebody say if both wires are made up of same material then linear expansions will be the same densities also will be the same now this equation may further modified as increase in the length delta l1 by delta l2 is these two are these two are same it's only equal to a2 by a1 which says that delta l is inversely proportional to area mean to say in that case thin wire with lesser area expands more thick wire for the same heat expands less that's a logical understanding also that's how it is supposed to work so be careful whenever the value of delta t is given but given in terms of the specific heat i shall convert that specific heat term into the rise of temperature using this relation right that's how we shall convert that thank you thank you for watching